Hey guys, good day. Hey, I wanted to put together a, uh, a short summary video that gave you guys um, a lot of documentation to uh, share with your friends and family, your Christian friends, your non-Christian friends. So if you're watching this video, you've probably been called to be a watchman over the house of Israel. So I have this, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a 15 page document and it has all of my uh, recent uh, study documents. They're short, very short. I'll go through each one real quick. So I would really recommend that you download this this combination document, print it out, and this is the only way you can begin to share this kind of stuff. You gotta teach these people, these folks who are just not aware of what's the reality we're living in right now about who the United States is, the year 2018, uh, the aliens, Planet X, all this stuff is going to be our reality real soon. And the sooner you can get this message out, the better. So the first one-pager is this uh, short little one-page document that describes the melting pot, the USA. It's a painting by Israel Zangwill. And I just quote Jacob here. And I, I created a uh, an easy-to-understand verse 19 of Genesis 48. And you can clearly see that uh, Ephraim is the uh, the modern representation of I'm sorry, that USA is the modern representation of the tribe of Ephraim. And when you jump to Hosea 5, you can see the um, what's going to happen to Ephraim in the modern time. You guys can read that. You guys have heard that from me before. Here's a, a document called the Genesis 48 test. It's a little bit goes a little bit more in depth on that verse 19. And if you got people that want to argue this point, you can ask them themselves that when you take verse 19 and you ask these four questions, there's only two nations that come out for Ephraim and Manasseh, and that's the USA and Great Britain. And then challenge them. You say, hey, what other two nations, France and Canada, Mexico and Spain, these two brotherly nations, you're not going to find anything else. And then you can go read Hosea 5 after that. And then you can remind them that the southern kingdom of Judah are the Jews. That's our, that's uh, that's another group under, under God. That's a second house. We have the Christians and we have the Jews. Uh, next, the next uh, sheet I have, the one sheeter, basically uh, is a, about the same thing, but it gives a little bit more in depth on Hosea 5. It just goes through uh, Hosea 5, verses 5 through 14, and talks about the children being taken in uh, verse 14. And Jeremiah 50, it makes that reference too, and you can show them that. Then it speaks of when the true church is raptured sometime shortly later. You can read about that. You can see my uh, uh, the green part is a rapture here. And uh, anyway, so the next slide, the uh, next uh, sheet is God's plan for the left behind women and nursing mothers. Those who are non-believers are lukewarm. God has a plan for them too. You can read about that. It's a tough one to swallow. Uh, verse 14 of uh, Hosea 9 verse 14 sort of spells it out right there, guys. And then you can jump, jump to God's plan for taking the little ones in a single day. Um, you can read in Jeremiah 50, verse 45, that God does indeed have a plan, and His plan is not preached from the pulpit. It's, uh, it's basically gone unnoticed, and you can see all the various verses in the Old Testament that agree. See, Jesus up here mentioned about this, about how the little children belong to the kingdom of heaven, not to their earthly parents. And you can see much more, uh, many more verses that describe this event uh, when the little ones are rescued, literally from the face of the earth. The Lord is doing this to save our children, to keep the children, the little ones, from having to experience uh, the judgment of those who are here when God's judgment begins. Uh, this next sheet is about how we can know that the, 20, the year 2018 is the season of the Lord's return. This is a um, just a one-sheet uh, Bible study that talks about the fact that Paul has told us that we don't need, thus who are believers, we don't need to have anything written to us about the uh, the season, the times and the seasons about the Lord's return. And then it goes into a short explanation about Daniel 9.25 that gives us, this is from the prophet, this is from the angel Gabriel to Daniel about the timing of the year of the return of the Lord. And you can see that the 2018, there are two witnesses um, from 1969 and 1535 that dictate that 2018 appears to be the year. And then I have another uh, sheet that talks about how we can determine who the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And just know that the house of Judah are the Jews and the house of uh, Israel are the Christians. And this allows us to go into the Old Testament and we can see and search on the house of Israel and we can see how, how faithless Israel 
is going to be is going to get God's judgment, at least for those who are the lukewarm type. And you can see how uh, we can come to that conclusion from the words of Jesus and the words of Jeremiah, who the house of Israel is. Then I have another one that talks about alien ETs in the Bible. This is just something that's never thought about. This is craziness to even bring this up in a church setting. But when you read the words of Jesus in Matthew 24, and you read the words of Paul in 2 Thessalonians 2, and you read the words of John in Revelation 12, 9, and you read the words of Jeremiah from chapter 5, you can come to the, the conclusion that the demonic aliens that are going to be coming, these alien ETs are, are demon, satanic, fallen angels and demons who manifest themselves in these gray aliens or some type of alien that's going to fool the left behind. It says in here that the Lord is going to, God is going to send those who refused to believe in the truth of Jesus. He's going to allow these fallen angels to manifest as our long lost space brothers. Okay. Then I have another slide here, another sheet that talks about that it's an overview of the order of events. This is speculation, but you guys cannot take it to the Lord. It talks about the events as they're going to be as they're going to uh, be carried out. It's like dominoes falling one after the other. The California earthquake, followed by the New York City earthquake, the cosmic event in the sky, um, the three days of darkness, the 40 days of testing, uh, the beginning of the Great Tribulation, and the 42 months of Antichrist rule, uh, the RFID chip, uh, the FEMA camps, all that stuff. And then I end it with a, a little bit of more of a one-sheeter, just a, uh, a description, a Bible um, overview, of Planet X or Nibiru found in the Bible. And then I end that with a few prophetic words about this mysterious planet that some uh, some modern day prophets have had over the years. So you guys can read that, print that out, and you can share that. You can come to, uh, come to know, uh, based upon God's word, what is getting ready to go down. So with that, guys, have a great day, and God bless you.